Welcome to a GCN training session, 40 minutes long. This is gonna give you everything you need in the 40 minutes we have got allocated. Now, we're joined with Morgan, Katie, and Maddie for this session, and this isn't gonna cover the longer drawn out um, sweet spot. This is the more quick, fast, intense efforts. We've got a five minute warm up before we start going into our intervals. Make sure you're warmed up, make sure you've got some water on board, and make sure you've got a towel too, something I do not have. Right, we're gonna start to ease into this. So find a nice cadence, find a nice rhythm, raise the heart rate. We've got five minutes of warm up and I'm gonna talk you through the intensities. But at the moment, we're just gonna turn the legs over. We've got perceived effort scale of one, so nice and easy, just rolling the legs over the cranks. And then uh, we've seen it's just changed. We've got a perceived effort of three on screen. So let's build that intensity up slightly, maybe adding a bit more resistance, maybe adding another gear. Now I'm not gonna do a huge amount of talking throughout this session. This is gonna be the focus, it's gonna be on the effort. I will though, let you know what's coming up. And I'll also give you some countdowns so you can really focus on the effort. Make sure if you enjoyed this kind of session, and a 40 minute duration is one for you, then hit that thumbs up button and let us know in the comment section below. 20 seconds now, and then we're gonna just add, an, add a little bit more intensity. So we're kind of using this as kind of the upside of a pyramid or walking up, climbing up a mountain. We're just gonna kind of get that intensity getting harder and harder as we gradually go up. When we get into the efforts, we're looking at a six, seven, and eight minutes. So it goes a perceived effort of six for a minute, perceived effort of seven for a minute, perceived effort of eight for a minute. So that's our three minute sets. We've got two of them before we go into three minutes at perceived effort of eight. And all interspersed is gonna be some recovery. So plenty in there, plenty of us, plenty of the uh, different intervals to get stuck into. Try and find another gear now. So all we're doing now is warming our body up for those intervals. Really nice work. Katie, feeling good? Yeah, I feel fresh today, actually. Not sure how fresh I'm gonna feel by the end, but ready to get stuck in. There we go, there we go. We're gonna come back to Katie halfway through the session. Now, if you wanna just get used to being on the saddle, you can do. Nice work, everyone. Right, we're on a perceived effort of five. Lovely work. Four seconds before we build it up again. And let's drop it down for a minute. So ease off the intensity. Maybe go down again. Spin those legs off. We've had a little bit of a ramp. You should be starting to feel that bit warmer. If you're in your garage, you might feel yourself just building up that body temperature. So we're looking at an RPM of 80.
Here we are now, two minutes, nice and easy. With a perceived effort of three. So this is just all about preparing your body for what's to come. this two minutes we've got one minute perhaps the effort four and then five and then we're going to work into our harder efforts so around about three minutes now left of our warm-up we start before we start adding in some intensity work everyone. And in three, two, one, let's add some intensity. So we've got perceived effort of four, so we're still just 40% of effort. And then we're gonna add another gear. And we're basically in one minute intervals, we're right with increasing the effort. And we're gonna try and reach number eight on that perceived effort scale. Try and stick to that 80 RPM that we've set you. Here we go, five, 50% now. Three, two, one, a little bit more resistance, up to 60%. We're going into our amber. And in 35 seconds, we're gonna add another bit of resistance. One, and a bit more resistance, please. 
hug 70% for a minute. Keep it in there, keep in the effort, keep on the RPM, keep on the cadence. Should be really starting to get a sweat on now. Should be feeling the effort come to you. Should feel it in your legs. And in 10 seconds, we're going to go up to a perceived effort of eight. This is a classic ramp up. Here we go, a minute at eight. Now you want to be going till you can barely talk. This is 80% of your capacity. And then we've got some recovery after this. We've got two minutes recovery. So we've got 40 seconds before we can get to that point. Just 30 seconds left. seconds. All the way to the end. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Easy. Here we go. Now two minutes. Nice and easy. Just drop down into an easy gear. Get some liquids on board. We've got two minutes of easy riding. And then we're going to work up that ramp again. We're going to go 30 second intervals now. So 30 seconds at level four, one minute at level six, and one and a half minutes at level eight. That's our next set to look forward to. So enjoy this bit of recovery, take some deep breaths. Your legs should be feeling pretty good now. You should have had that bit of a flush of the lactate. Your blood should be going around the body nice and quickly, nice and smoothly. Your heart rate should be up. One minute left before we start the next set. Well done everyone at home if you're managing to keep with us. Telling you this session will fly by as long as you just keep focusing on the effort in hand. Don't look too far into the future. Let's just concentrate on hitting the numbers in each and every interval. And in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go now. We're at effort level of four. So we've got 40% intensity for the next 30 seconds. This is just adding a bit of resistance. And our next stop is 60% for a minute in 10 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's add more resistance. 60% we're looking for. And then we've got four minutes of recovery after this. So let's really make the most of it. Hang 
going in there now. We've got 80% and we're going to do 90 seconds. I'm going to pop out the saddle for a little bit of it. How are you feeling, Katie? Yeah, I definitely feel a bit warmer now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're going to feel warmer in a second, because in one second, here we go. We've knocked it up to 80% for 90 seconds. Let's go. This is 80% of your capacity. Let's try and hit those numbers you're looking for. Try and maintain the same rhythm. So 60 seconds left, then you've got four minute recovery. Dig in now. Where it's gonna hurt. This 80% of your capacity is not easy. Just 20 seconds left. Come on, dig in. Ten. And three, two, one, ease off the pedals. There you go, that's two sets done. Just a couple more now. Two minutes of received effort of one. So this is your opportunity to just take a deep breath. Because in a minute and 40 seconds, we're doing three minutes at that 80%. So this is going to be one of the hardest efforts. So if you can try and maintain that effort the whole way through the three minutes, you'll be doing well. But you want to try and you want to try and uh, pace this effort. So enjoy the recovery. So you've got another minute, it's like when you're just crystal cranking. In other words, you're just turning the pedals over. You're not putting much effort through the pedals. And then we're gonna do build up back into it over a two minute period. So we're gonna go into 40% in 40 seconds. seconds we're going to build up the intensity now your legs should be slightly recovered from those last two sets here we go now add a gear add some resistance we're looking at 40 percent on that perceived effort scale we've got a three minute hard effort and then we've got another four minute easy recovery before we can end on a high we're going to go into our last hard efforts. So let's go, we want to we we be looking for that 40% of effort. We've got 90 seconds left before we start that three minute interval. Steph, can you scroll down on one? Here 
we go now. 50 seconds before we're going to start engaging the boost. Three minutes of hard riding. Five seconds. Two, one. Here we go now. Our three minute interval has just started. We're looking for 80%. This is a tough effort. Something you want to really start to think about. Find that gear, find that rhythm. And then just hang in there like a time trial effort. You're looking for 80 RPM. You'll feel the bite in your legs. You'll feel it stinging. Focus on getting the job in hand done. Let's tick it off. The minutes are going to tick by. Really nice work if you're cracking on at home, digging in. Let's go nearly halfway. Pop out the saddle if you want to. But try and keep that intensity level up. We've got four minute recovery after this, so let's make this one minute and 20 seconds count. seconds to go. Always the end. Come on, team. Thirty seconds. Rinse it out. Twenty seconds. Ten. In five, three, two, one. Ease off. Okay, did you feel that in the legs? Yeah. Feeling very sweaty. Glad I got this towel. Yeah. Me too. Right, one minute, two minutes. Or oh, sorry, what? The effort level is one, but we've got two minutes where we're just turning the pedals over. Feel good, Morgan? Yeah, here is a tiring session. We'll inject some uh, some more intensity stuff when we get towards the end, when we've got 30 seconds and sprints to really see us through the line. But before we get to that, we've got three minutes left of this recovery, so make sure it lasts and enjoy it. Spin out those legs, try and re refresh it. Ref oh. Fresh the legs before you 
embark on this next set because this next set is going to start with four minutes at 80%. So this is going to be a, probably a, one of our hardest bits. This is the longest effort because we do four minutes and then we're going to do 30 seconds at max. And we've got two lots of those 30 seconds. So enjoy spinning your legs. We've got 30 seconds left before we're going to pick up the pace a little bit. Find a little bit more resistance in another gear. Right, here we go. Two minutes now at 40%. So let's build back up. We've had that minute or two minutes recovery. We're now looking for the effort again. So engage the muscles, find the gear. And the next set is gonna be a big ramp up into max. One minute left. Enjoy this bit. Only 13 minutes left of the entire session, so not long now. Forty seconds. ready. 24 seconds to be exact. And then we are going to build into that four minutes. That's our last big hill to get over. Around about six minutes left of effort left. Here we go, four minutes, the countdown has started. We're looking for 80%. Here we go now. We're into the nitty gritty now. These minutes are going to take by. How are you feeling, Katie? Oh, yeah, feeling it, but in a good way. Like, pain's good. Yeah, pain is good. It means we're working. Three minutes to go. Come on, team. Hang in there. Just two minutes to go now. Come on, dig in. Two 
Try and really hold that intensity. Try and sit on your numbers, sit on your cadence. If you're following that 80 RPM, try and stick to it. to the bitter end. One minute to go at this intensity, come on. And then we've got two 30 second efforts straight off the back of this. And that's we're gonna rinse everything out. Hold that intensity. Twenty seconds, then we got a minute real hard. Five, three, two, one. Let's go now. Try and raise the RPM or raise the intensity. Add another gear. And then our last 30 seconds, if we can, we're going to get out of the saddle and finish strong. 20 seconds. A perceived effort of nine with 90%. Come on now. Then we've got three minute recovery. Okay, here, and we're coming into our last 30 seconds. One more gear, please. Come on, out the side if you can. That last 30 seconds, let's make it count. Fifteen seconds, come on now, halfway. And ten. Three. Two, one, easy. Yeah, give it a do. Ouch, three minutes. Three minutes, a perceived effort of one. You've earned it. If you managed to get the whole way through all that, pat yourself on the back. That was work well done. Right, we've got two and a half minutes left. And then we've got a minute, last minute hard. And then we've got our warm down. Enjoy this spin. Spin off the legs. Spin out that last effort. So what we did there was really ramp up into it. And then we're finishing strong. And that's why I put those perceived effort scale nine and 10. What it really does is it, Gives you a curve going up instead of a curve going down. So you're really having to push. Maybe you can get out the saddle just to try and push you over the top. And that's going to stretch you that little bit more and trying to get you to make those adaptations that we're looking for in training to improve performance and fitness. So one minute and 40 seconds now. Just chill. And then we've got one minute, last minute nice and hard. How you think, Katie? All good? Yeah, that, all last, good? that last minute was brutal. But yeah, it was a tough one, that. Good. Morgan, you came in live there in that last bit. I saw you pop out of the saddle. There you go, tough little finish. Right, we've just got five minutes left of this entire session. One minute, 
hard in 60 seconds. So we're looking at a perceived effort level for eight as we come into this last minute really hard. So that's our last real big push. So let's make it count. We've got 30 seconds to prepare. seconds. So think about that gear selection now, think about the resistance, turning that dial up. In five, four, three, two, one. Eighty percent please team, eighty percent for sixty seconds. Come on now, find that gear. Let's finish nice and strong. We've got a three minute recovery after this. Come on now. This is our last bit. Come on, last bit of session. We have just 40 seconds to go. All the way, all the way now. Fifteen seconds. Ten. All the way to the line. Three, two, one, and you're done. Yeah, ouch. Is that good? Namaste. Wow. Hard session. This one was set by our very own man on Lloyd. For some reason, she likes putting us in the pain box. When she's not here. And she's not here to enjoy it. exactly that, Kelly. Right, two minutes and 30 seconds. Remember, I say every single video, warm up's important. So make sure you can sit on the bike as long as you can, spin out those legs. We've got a perceived effort of three on there, so you've got a little bit of resistance in there just to wind the legs down slowly and gently. Remember, hydration is key. Rehydrate, because on the turbo, you tend to sweat a lot. So uh, try and make sure you rehydrate, you put back in all the liquids you've lost. And when you're on the turbo, before you get off, it's a good time to, to do that. And then you forget. Stretching's also really good. It just enables you to keep performing, keep bouncing back. Something I wish I've done more of. Right, did you enjoy it, Katie? I loved it. Yeah? Yeah. Is this session you do a lot or yeah. 40, 40 minute? Definitely, it's just such a good way to improve your fitness and um, sort of replicate what the efforts that you do in a race as well. So yeah, it's pretty good. So, yeah. Well, a big thank you to our guests, Maddie at the back, Morgan and Katie on the front. And a big thank you to you at home for sticking with it. If you've come all the way through this video, well, I take my hat off to you. Let me know if you have by hitting that thumbs up button. And let's see if we can get as many people as humanly possible to complete the full 40 minutes. Don't forget though, if you want to do slightly more on the turbo, there's a library of content on the GCN training platform that you can dive into. You can look for any duration, any intensity, or you can jump onto GCN Plus and finish this session and go and watch some racing. It's live and it's on demand. Right, 20 seconds to go. A massive thank you again for joining, for supporting the channel. Leave us your comments. Let us know what you would like to see in the next training video. And we and our guests will see you in the next video. From Hank and the GCN crew, it's over now.